Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. When you're buying used, you have to typically skimp on certain things. One of those things that we really wanted in our car was white seats. And I'm gonna show you guys how much it costs if you wanna go through Tesla to get new white seats put into your car and switch out those black ones. And spoiler alert, it's a ton of money. Over here, you know, my text conversation with the text right here. If you look at that, I asked, you know, how much it would be. I scheduled an appointment because I couldn't find it anywhere online. And it ended up being $6,300 just for the seats and then $500 for the labor and that was just a projected cost they hadn't ever done it at the salt lake ones needless to say you know laura and i weren't going to get that in, in the conversation you could see if it was about twenty five hundred dollars which is what i was assuming it would be we probably would have considered it we decided to do the next best thing now this isn't a sponsored video i bought this myself i'll show you the link that i bought it from it's not the taptiz seat covers um it's some that were on amazon so we're gonna get what we get but this video you're gonna follow me as I install these. I've never installed these before. And uh, it'll be the first seat covers actually that I've ever put on. I wanna show you guys what the finished product looks like. It'll have black accents in the car with the white, or I guess I should say white accents in the black car. I had great reviews on these. Uh, let's get into unboxing them. Just gonna grab these scissors here. Everybody's got a fancy knife on YouTube, but I don't really have a fancy knife. I just have, you know dirty scissors that already cut some boxes earlier. Well, let's take a look at these. You guys are looking at them for the first time with me as well. The only thing I'm hoping isn't missing out of here is a wedge tool, because I know you have to wedge it into the plastic. Ooh, but so far so good. Um, just based on what I'm seeing in the packaging, they're gonna be very, very close. So. That's what the entire package looks like. Let's see one of these out of the packaging. All right, so I'm hoping I can smooth some of this out, you know. You've got the headrest there. And uh, I know it's gonna have some wrinkles. It won't be exactly perfect. So there's the two in there. There's the second one, right? I'll probably leave it like that. Oh, okay, this is cool. This is much better than it looked online. Um, it has the same bra brackets as the tap tiz. Um, they feel really nice. The other thing that I'm concerned about is the seat warmers. And I've heard that, it, you know, it won't be as hot, which is good in the middle seat in the back seat. Go figure. Yep, all these pieces. You know, it comes with gloves and the pry tool. And then I'm guessing this is like the center console one, but there's also, I think the drink holder center console in here. Actually, I don't, what is this one? That one might be the drink, that's a small one. No idea. You'd think I knew my car well enough. Let's get into, you know, putting them on the car. So to start the installation, make sure you raise the seat all the way up. You want maximum clearance to get under the seat. Then as you pull on, the seat cover over the headrest, either stretch around the back first or pull it down tight like I did. I think it would have been easier if I started by stretching it around the back, but you'll wanna make sure this is as snug as possible. You'll see wrinkles in the headrest. I've been trying to get it out, but it slowly works itself out as you go. Just keep working it and kneading it with your hands as you move the seat cover around. As you can see here, it started to form pretty well, but it still had quite a bit of wrinkles, but the wrinkles start to dissipate as soon as you start tightening it. Lower the seat back so you can push the clasps under the seat. Cause the biggest gap that you can to form behind it. Now, as I did this, I didn't realize that I had to undo the straps under the seat first, so you'll see me undo the straps under the seat. See my confusion? Don't make the same mistake I did but I'm trying to shove them under there right now. Here's where you unhook the clasps. There'll be two of them. Reach almost as far back as you can go. It'll take a second to fill where you need to go, but it's a pretty intuitive hook that those are on. Now you can see the pieces that I shoved under there. Install the seat portion of the seat cover by doing the same thing. There are gonna be two straps that you wanna shove in the back. 
work your way around the seat belt buckles, as you can see me do here, and get it as snug as possible. You'll want to take your wedge tool and work around the edges pushing in. Make sure you pry apart the plastic as you push it in. Keep working your way around making sure it's snug. Then you'll want to go to the bottom. There will be some straps. Feed those to the back and then there will be two straps in the front that you want to take one of the metal hooks and hook them together right there. Hook the straps to the plastic buckle from the seat that you fed down. You'll want to pull this as tight as you can so that it's really snug and gives a clean look on the front end. It can be kind of tricky from the angle, but keep working at it and you'll get it. I then fed the ties through so that it would be a cleaner look when I put the cover back over. Typically on the back of here you take some of the metal clasps and hook them. I just hooked them into the plastic. After you've completed that, hook the straps back up. This took me a little bit of effort to find. This part's a lot easier with your wedge, but work the edges into the plastic on the back. Remember, you can pry this open and push in at the same time. I used my hands in this shot, but it's much better with the wedge tool. They'll work themselves out, but just keep messing with them over time. Take the back seat off. There's a latch right there. Black little nub under there on both sides. Then you'll want to work the seat belts through so you can pull the cushion off. As you can see here, it took me a little bit of effort to do and figure out. Now that I got the seat off, you can see the wires right there, two on the end. They have a little button that you push to release it and work its way out. You'll wiggle it back and forth. It might take a little bit. This one on this side is a little bit rougher to work with because it's such a small piece and I was trying to hold my phone at the same time. This right here is the most involved part. Put the seat on the seat cover upside down and then flip it around to feed the straps through. You'll want to feed it through where the seat belts come through and make sure you give your seat belts enough room. Each strap will go straight across into the plastic buckle. They correspond pretty well with the grooves inside the seat. Make sure that you're tightening them, but not too tight. I tightened it a, too tight a couple times and it made it more difficult to put the seat back on. You'll also have the metal clasps. You'll use a lot of these because there's a lot of bungee straps on the side and on the back. What you'll want to do is you want to feed them to the strap and hook them in. I did this by making knots in the top of the strap so that I could hook them into the knot. There's probably a much better way and you could probably figure out a better way to get the seat cover to stay on, but this is the way I did it. Did a little bit more adjusting just to make sure the seat was on snug. You'll probably have to fidget with this a little bit as well but it becomes worth it as you're finishing it up because as you can see right there, I didn't leave enough room to get the clasps into the plastic latch that you unhook the seat from. This part probably took the longest. I wanted to make sure you guys saw that. I sped it up so you didn't have to go through the painful process of watching me do it. Make sure that you take your time. Now what you'll want to do is put the seat covers on the back before you put the seat back down. I almost made the mistake of putting the seat back down. There are Velcro straps on the back that you'll tighten the seat down. You'll have a hard time feeding them up through the bottom, but make sure you use your wedge tool. As you can see here, I'm working the edge pieces into the grooves. You want to be careful doing this because there's clasps in there and you don't want to snap them. This is very involved and you want to be meticulous with this. If there's any puff in it, the door won't shut properly. So make sure that you get this all in there. The inside edge has a stiff piece so it'll be easier to get into. I probably should have fed that in first before working at the top because the top corner and bottom corner you'll have to stretch into place when you work it in. Sorry for missing the footage on the other seat covers, but you follow the same process. As you can see here, I did a pretty good job of shoving it in there so there's no gap or little gap. 
you work your way around the back edge, make sure you move the seat belt out of the way when you're feeding the wedge into there. The headrest as well is really easy to attach. As you can see, there's a one Velcro strap in the back and you just feed it. The middle section is really simple. You just zip it together. Now to put the seat back on. As you can see there, I pulled the long seat belt through and then you gotta feed it in there, then line the seat up with the latch. You'll wanna make sure that's lined up properly. I actually ended up breaking the plastic piece and having to reinstall it back on there. Don't do that, but line it up and it'll snap into place. You'll know when you got it. Use the wedge tool for one last go around to make sure the seat belts come through right. And now we have our finished product. Look at that. Just like factory seats. Well, as close as you possibly can get. But they're a beautiful product. I sure love them. And I'll let you guys know in the future how they hold up.